An Introduction to Osmosis by kscience.com Osmosis is the movement of water. It is the movement of water. It's really important to remember. From an area of high concentration to low concentration. So from high to low concentration through a partially permeable membrane. Partially permeable means some things can go through it. So as you can see here, some molecules are small enough to go through the membrane, but some molecules are too big to go through the membrane. So these small molecules can go through, but the big ones can't. So it's a partially permeable membrane. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So this is a diagram of a cell showing a partially permeable membrane and differing water concentrations inside and outside the cell. So we're going to start off with example number one. It's a partially permeable membrane because these red molecules are too big to go through it, whereas the water molecules can easily osmose through the cell membrane. So as you can see here, I'm going to highlight on the outside of the cell that there is a high concentration because there are five water dots. But on the inside, there's a low concentration. So water is going to move from a high to low concentration through a partially permeable membrane. So you're seeing the water molecules now osmose through the partially permeable cell membrane until the concentrations on each side are equal. So on my drawing, there are three on the outside and now three on the inside. In the next example, the higher concentration is on the inside of the cell. So now this water is going to move from the inside of the cell to the outside from a high to low concentration by osmosis. So water is now going to leave the cell to the surrounding environment. In the last example, there are three on the inside and three on the outside, so there is no net movement of particles of water as the concentration of water are equal on both sides. So the red particles here are too big to be able to diffuse through the partially permeable membrane the partially permeable membrane can only allow certain molecules to diffuse through. So the partially permeable membrane, in this case, only allows water molecules to osmose through and not larger molecules. So in a root hair cell, there are mineral ions that need to be absorbed from the soil as well as water that needs to be absorbed. So mineral ions are absorbed by active transport, whereas water is absorbed by osmosis. So with water, you must always identify where the high concentration is, as shown here, and where the low concentration is. So water is going to osmose from a high to low concentration by osmosis into the root through a partially permeable membrane. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.